Hi everybody, welcome back to Spill the Greens. My name's Aaron, I'm the Director of Horticulture here at our High Tech Greenhouse. Today I want to talk to you about being a grower. I've spent 15 years in the industry in a lot of different roles and I couldn't ever imagine doing anything else. There are a lot of roles that exist in controlled environment agriculture, traditional agriculture, and everything in between. Call us farmers, call us growers, specialists, plant health technicians, plant scientists, call us whatever. The fact remains that we all know and love plants and do everything in our power to procure success in our greenhouses and at our farms. My favorite part about being a grower is being able to blend all my favorite aspects of life. Live plants, science, data, and an art, an intuition. Part of me that can walk in a greenhouse and tell you what the humidity is without looking. Or part of me knowing if there's gonna be enough light today or not without checking. Those are things I've learned through experience, but I always double check the data because that's how we make our decisions. And it's that blend of art and science that really makes me love my job. There are a lot of people out there that have an interest in this industry and many people that wanna know what it takes to work here. But before you can get to that point, I wanna make sure you understand what it is a grower truly does on a day-to-day -day basis and big picture for a company. One of the most important parts of our job is just walking through the greenhouse. You have to come out and look at your plants every day. They're gonna tell you everything that you need to do in order to make them the best plant they can be. But you gotta listen and you gotta look. And if you really love doing this, that'll be your favorite part of the day, I guarantee it. We also have to look at the science side of things. We have to collect data. I have to know sensors. I have to know light sensors and EC and pH sensors for my water and nutrients. I have to know how to measure my plants and if that measurement is right. All of that comes from data other people have collected, industry standards, the specs of my customer, and how long it takes me to get my plants to that point. Another big part of my job as a grower is doing research and development. Part of that research and development is driven by a need to help the industry excel and find new technologies, varieties, resources, and methods. And part of it's for not being complacent. We never want to think that what we're doing is the best we're ever going to do. We want to believe in what we're doing, but we always want to make it better. So as a grower, I'm going to look into new varieties, new seed suppliers, new ways to water my plants, new systems to grow in and greenhouses to build around them. We always want to be looking at what's better, but without losing perspective on what we need to grow and who we're growing for. That can be a hard decision to make, and all that research and development has to be data-driven and has to be within the perspective of our goals as a company and as a grower. So after all of that explanation of what I just talked about, if you're still interested in becoming a grower, let's discuss some of the paths you can take. For me, it was very non-traditional, like I said, but I'm very glad that I got here. For a lot of people, this could mean a four-year degree at a university. There are lots of them out there and lots of programs, and they continue to grow each day as the industry grows and more and more money is invested into controlled environment agriculture, into hydroponics, and into greenhouses in general. This is a good thing for food production in the United States and all over the world. And you can be a part of that as these programs grow and grow. You can take online classes or traditional classes, but I urge you to check out the schools that have good CEA programs or new and growing CEA programs. There are places like Cornell, Michigan State, Ohio State, Purdue, Texas A&M, Berkeley, San Luis Obispo, Cal Poly, there's lots of schools that have great indoor ag programs. These universities are making huge investments into indoor ag and CEA and greenhouses, and you can be a part of those programs. It's a great way to start a career at becoming a grower. I would also urge you to stay humble and know that there's a lot to learn out there. You can come in and show me a lot of new things. It's great to have perspective, but there are a lot of people in the industry that can help you learn and teach you and get you on the right path to success in the greenhouse industry. If there's anything else we can answer for you, please leave your questions and comments in the space below. Thanks for checking out our greenhouse at Eden Green Technology and spending time with us on Spill the Greens. <laughs>